is Mary Liz Bender from Cosmic Perspective. Welcome home, Bob and Doug. I want to first thank you for sharing that wisdom on perseverance. Um, you shared a lot of stunning images of Earth while you were on the station, and I really enjoyed the perspective you gave with the captions that you used. And I just wanted to ask, what compelled you to share so much, and what was your favorite location or feature to photograph? Well, I think, I think we can both answer that one. Um, you know, for me, I just, every time you look out the window of the space station, and, and certainly we didn't get the opportunity that I thought we were gonna get, you know, based on the description of, of previous crew members, that we, our, our time was uh, used up a lot to, to make up for the fact that, you know, we were down to three crew members on the space station uh, prior to us getting there. and. Uh, I think, and, and rightly so, the, the International Space Station program needed needed us to get to work right off the bat. But the time that we did get to do that, you know, the perspective that you have from low Earth orbit of our planet is just one of just complete awe of, first of all, how beautiful the planet is and, and that there are no borders uh, that you can see from space, that the atmosphere is so thin. And then literally every time you look out the window, you see something different and even more beautiful than the last thing you saw the last time you looked out the window. And it's always different. And, and maybe more so this year than, than in past years that, that astronauts have taken photographs out the window. You know, the country, the, country, the United States and the world has been dealing with so much uh, chaos and drama and the pandemic and all the things that have been going on in the world. And, and you know, if it were me, it would make me feel better to see these pictures from space. And so I think we just felt like it was a, a way to, to maybe have, have folks maybe have a distraction for a while and, and also to appreciate the, the planet that we've been given. You know, it, it's, 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 it's unique in that, in that standpoint and it's just beautiful to look at. And, and, it, and it's, I personally feel it's our obligation to share what we see because not everybody is gonna get to go to space and, and to, to just bring as much of the experience to, to everybody back on the earth is, is something I thought was very, very important. You know, I, I think for both of us, we didn't expect to have a longer duration mission. We expected to have just a few short days, which would have really limited our opportunity to share the, the station life aspects or the things that you can see from low Earth orbit or from the space station with folks. And when we got the opportunity for a longer mission, I think we both wanted to take advantage of that. You know, I, I think the Earth below us is a, is a, a wonderful view, just some amazing things to see. I'm a little bit, uh, I'm a physics trained engineer background sort of a thing. And so I, I was really interested in the, the things that were examples of science or engineering or just physics below us or above us that was happening. And so whether it was light shimmering across the ocean surface or it was sunrises or sunset and trying to figure out how to get a photo and share that so that somebody else could have the same wonder that we have when we get a chance to see it ourselves was was what was really important to me we had some interesting you know mm -hmm. um, conditions uh, during the flight we had a, a period of time where we were in continuous daylight uh, we got to do a spacewalk in continuous daylight which was just a uh, crazy to imagine, you know, being outside the entire time uh, with with the sun up the entire time was just a, a strange thing to kind of get your mind around, and, and we got to got to have uh, that experience. And so, as a part of that, I think it, it took away the opportunities for us to get as many shots of the the comet uh, Neowise that uh, was uh, uh, rising. It kind of came in that same period, so we had too much light to be able to see it very much, but. Uh, just all those things that you can see, whether it's lightning or the cities at night or or look out at the Milky Way and see the stars in the in the background or just see the glow of the the earth and see that it is not dark even at night uh, compared to the darkness of space is uh, just imagery that we wanted to share and maybe uh, in spark an interest of the wonder that we were able to see and whether it's a child or an adult that's out there so that uh, in this year um, and in years in the future, folks can look at that and, and be inspired to have the kind of careers that we've had or you know, chase a different dream than the one that we've chosen.